Hey cookies! So last week I made this easy and delicious strawberries and cream white cake, posted it on Facebook and it went viral. I was shook, okay? But I had to show my cookies how I made it, so let's do it. Alright babies, first I'm adding some sugar to my softened butter. It's very important that your butter is softened, also that your eggs and your milk are at room temperature. And we're just creaming the butter and sugar together. Here I have some cake flour and I'm adding in some baking powder. Now we're just going to toss it together a little bit. We're going to pretend that we sifted this flour just so the pro bakers will let poop live, but no. Nah. Here's where we incorporate the flour mixture and the milk, but we're going to add a little bit of each at a time, blending in between until we have all of the flour and all of the milk added in. And again, we just add the flour and then the milk and then blend in between until it's all incorporated. We're making white cake, so I'm using a clear vanilla extract so it doesn't darken the cake and also almond extract. Then mix everything together and be careful not to over mix. We want a light and fluffy cake. In a separate bowl, I have some egg whites. Again, we're making a white cake, so we don't need those yolks. So now we're just going to blend the egg whites until they're nice and frothy. Like this, we don't need any stiff peaks, just a nice little froth. Now mix it with the rest of the batter. It's sad how I just wanted to eat the batter. I've greased my baking pans well. I'm using 8 inch, but 9 works too. Now split your batter in half and pour it equally into each. So don't give one more than the other. We're going to be fair. Now I'm just picking up my pans and dropping them so it'll get rid of the air pockets. And then we're going to pop them in a 350 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. When your cake is done, flip them out of the pan. Let them cool on your wired rack. But since I'm not a baker, I ain't got no doggone wired rack. I flipped this thing on some foil, let it cool, and it worked, boo. <laughs> Real bakers don't come for cool. Guys, I didn't want the video to be too long, so I made a separate video for the cream cheese icing recipe. I'll add that link in the description box so you can check it out and see how I made it. Really easy. Here are my fresh berries. I'm going to use the sliced ones for my filling and top it with the other cake. Now I'm going to start frosting my cake to make a crumb coat. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're just going to spread it on there and then refrigerate for 10 to 20 minutes. Now guys, I'm still learning how to frost a cake, so I'm kind of shaky, but just do the best you can, okay? <laughs> The best tip I can give you is to have a glass or a pitcher of hot water available so that you can wipe off your spatula and clean it off when you smooth your cake. Just place your spatula in one spot and let the turntable do all the work. Just spin your cake around to smooth it. I hope it makes sense and I hope this helps. And just clean it off with the water in between. I add my chopped strawberries to the remaining frosting and stir it up a little bit gently. You don't want to break it up. And this is what we're going to use to top our cake. And cookies, y'all know you don't have to do what I do. I don't, I'm not a cake decorator. I'm just freestyling. So do your thing. It's your cake. Decorate it however you delight. And my sweet cookies, that is it for this easy, light, and fluffy white cake recipe. The link to this recipe and also the cream cheese frosting video will be linked down there in the description box. Go check it out. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you try this cake. If you do, send me pics. Hashtag Coop Can Cook on Facebook, Instagram, wherever. And let your girl see you make this cake guys it is so moist fluffy and look at that oh god i got to go eat all right until next time be blessed